over it. Turkeys. Here on site, I'm working on this old excavator here. Let me show you what they did to it, where I'm at, because I started this the other day. Uh, I didn't get to film the other day. My phone was overheating, but today it looks like the weather is going to be a little cooler. You'll see it's overcast. So let me show you what's up. So they snapped this H-link right in half. Their mechanic had temporarily welded this together, but unfortunately he did not V it out enough for me to get a full penetrating weld. I went ahead and I was able to use my grinder to get it, you know, uh, grind it out enough on the sides of the H-link to go ahead and get my weld in halfway through on the outsides, but I really couldn't do it in the middle until I got this die grinder. So that's what we're doing right now. We're grinding this thing out and then we're gonna start making our passes. As you can see, we gotta do this side too. So I really like these carbide bits. These are actually from Benchmark Abrasive. Got it pretty well gouged out. Looks pretty good. Got it almost all the way into the back of that weld. I can get the rest of that with some 6010, but I can't really get the burr bit any deeper. And you can see that one is into the back of that weld. So uh, this one's into the back of that weld. Um, I, that's where I ran the cutoff disc, not a big deal. But I found a crack right here. So I'm gonna address that too real quick. And finish grinding that out. And then we're gonna put a root in on this side. So here's our root. You see it looks real slick in the middle, uh, but over here you can see it's not so slick looking. And that was the same amperage, same settings. It's just that my bevel's not really that consistent. See it looks real slick at the end there, and then up there it's not so slick. What we do is come back with the die grinder and hit that a little bit, just to give me a little more consistent area to weld over. Same thing in these corners. And then we'll go ahead and we'll cap this thing out. I'm running at 125 amps right here. The first couple of passes come out pretty good, but um, I think to myself, hey, you know, this could use a little more. So I hop up right about here and go and change my amperage to 135. I changed the OCV a little bit too. I put, gave it a little more dig and uh, it, it's starting to turn out really good right here. I'm running my weld in this direction because obviously I'm going uphill and whenever I'm running a low hydrogen rod like 7018, I always run it uphill. All right, so the phone keeps overheating again because we're back in shitty Florida where it's a million fucking degrees even in February. But anyway, let me show you my hot pass. I'm going to put you guys up. I'm going to make some more passes, then I'll show you everything capped out, okay? So you can see it's turning out pretty slick. Not too bad. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to run some more, and then I'll get you guys back out. All right, guys, so I've been welding a little bit more. And because of the expansion created by the heat of my welding, we've uncovered some shit that I'm really not stoked. So we knew about this crack down here earlier. I went ahead and opened that up. It's ready to be welded. I went ahead and opened this up. But as you can see, we have a crack moving. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Very, very faintly, there's a hairline crack moving this way. So I'd imagine this thing's pretty much shattered in here. Ah, the joys of working on a job site. All right, I'm back from lunch, I'm taking a shit, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish out this side. I'll bring you guys back in once I get onto the other side. But let me show you where we're at so far. Everything looks pretty tight. Welds look really good. So, I'm happy with that. 
Show you what we got going on. Uh, not too bad. Pretty slick for an old junk welder. Um, there we go. So uh, basically what I need to do to finish up, I need to go ahead and fill this in. And then I need to fill my ends in right here. I started right there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and weld this all out and then I'll grind it and then we'll flip and do the opposite side. So we've got our ends all capped off. Those look pretty fucking good. There's no undercut really. Um, and then there is our root for inside of that little crack right there. Okay guys, this side is complete. Those end caps look pretty good, so I'm not gonna grind those, I was, but. So I'm gonna move to the opposite side, we're gonna grind that out, and then we're gonna go ahead and weld it out. It's gonna take a long fucking time, probably the rest of the day. You can see my root coming through on this side, so we're gonna grind that out, I'll go ahead and show you that in a second. And uh, hopefully no cracks appear on this side. There is one down here I didn't, didn't recognize earlier. But we'll just do our best. We'll cut this one out. We'll grind everything out now. And we'll, uh, like I said, we're just gonna do our best on this. This thing, this thing is cracked to fucking hell. I mean, you know, I'm putting lipstick on a pig on this one. I know I say that sometimes, but I really mean it this time. So as you can see, there's my root peeking through. Um, and it's not consistent because, well, the bevel wasn't consistent. So I gotta get the die grinder up in this corner, up in that corner, and then we should be able to do the rest with the grinder. I prepped it out pretty good yesterday. I did some of the prep yesterday that you guys didn't see. We're gonna finish it now. We're all the way through. We're back into the weld. It looks pretty good. This face shield is done pretty good. I haven't got anything in my eye and you can see there's been a lot of stuff. You know, this is all pretty big fragments of metal to get in my eye. So uh, after having two pieces of metal in my eye this past weekend, um, today's Sunday, so the weekend's not over yet. Um, I'm relieved to not get a third so far. Hopefully I don't. couple of passes with the 6010 not the prettiest things ever but uh, that should have pulled all the bullshit that's inside of those welds out I am gonna take the uh, Dremel or whatever you want to call that thing into this corner knock it down and a couple other places knock that down a little bit just to make the 7018 run a little smoother a little more consistently <laughs> we've got it pretty consistent in there yeah, it looks like dog shit on camera, but I promise you it ain't that bad. And now I'm going to go ahead and run that uh, 7018 in there. You can see how consistent that first beat of 7018 is. And that was because we took the time to prep it out. Um, if I hadn't done that, took the time to gouge all that out with the, with the die grinder, 
it wouldn't be that consistent. Nice and consistent. It's pretty good actually. This is probably the better out of the two that I did as far as the first hot pass goes. You know it's a good weld when the slag jumps off before you even get done. It. Let me show you the final results. So the outside there, it's pretty all right. A little shaky, a little inconsistent. It's pretty good in here. We've got our corners all wrapped around. Fix the cracks. Fix those two cracks. This thing's fucking shattered. So, uh, then we'll show you the other side here. It's pretty fucking good. All right. I mean, uh outside. The end of the video. If you like what you saw here today, like, subscribe, and share. If you don't like it, well, go fuck yourself.